Hi, hotties. Welcome back to Band Practice. I'm Emma. And I'm Madison. And today we're going to be doing a How to Glow Up in 2024 episode because this will be our last episode of 2024. By the time you're listening, Christmas has already passed. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be this will be our last episode of 2023 by the time you're listening christmas has already passed so we hope you had a holly jolly christmas and yeah. are ready for the new year baby this is our time to thrive i can't wait so these are all the tips and tricks for you to glow up with us because we are also going to be in our glow up era oh yes mm -hmm. and it's not going to be like superficial dumb stuff like you should get Botox this year, which <laughs> that will be how I plan to glow up, but I won't be like preaching that to all y'all. These are more like wholesome, like how to be your best self in the new year sort of stuff. So Yeah, like there's some mindset stuff, some lifestyle stuff, and we did throw in a little sprinkle of like physical glow up tips, mm -hmm. but they'll probably be different than all the other stuff you've heard. So yeah, fun stuff. This is good. I can't wait. I but know. first... What have we been up to? Take it away, Madison. <sighs> okay. Well, should I even get into my IKEA debacle? I feel like that's just <laughs> the only thing on my mind. So today I built a dresser from IKEA. And the story starts yesterday when I went to pick it up. It's the... Uh, now I forget the name, but it's like the most popular IKEA like dresser. The classic. The classic, yeah. just very simple classic dresser. Because I just needed a big dresser to like... <laughs> put stuff in obviously <laughs> so I ordered one for pickup because I was like I'm not about to go into Ikea right now like I can just feel the overstimulation that mm -hmm. would occur so I just ordered you drive up you go in give them your order number and it's like three dudes in there and just me a small little fragile mm -hmm. tiny 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 teeny tiny girl teeny tiny pocket size I'm like literally this big and so <laughs> so um they, I give them my order number. They bring out the order and they're like, okay. And I'm like, okay. Like, <laughs> and, and who's going to help me? Like, which one of you guys is going to raise your hand first? And they're just like, all right, have a good one. And I was like, oh, hmm, okay. So I push my cart with three big ass boxes on it. Because it's like a decent sized dresser. Like, it's not like a little teeny something I can just lift easily. It's like 200 pounds of wood planks and so I take it to my car I'm like well maybe the boxes are like lighter than they look or something you know like I'll be fine and then I start putting in my car I'm struggling I'm quivering I am shaking in this parking lot like trying to get these boxes in my car and finally I do it and I'm just like okay screw them whatever mm -hmm. and I thought that the the pain and the suffering of this dresser would be over but then I was trying to be helpful and help Ben this morning put it together the first piece that I lift up, drop it right on my foot. Ugh. No, no, no. Like, my foot is quite literally bruised. Like, I fully dropped, like, a huge piece on my foot. I cried, and then I decided I was just going to sit this one out, and Ben can build it. So, he built it, and then I organized it all today, and it had a happy ending, because it's just, oh, it's so organized and pretty, and everything's, like, in these Good. little containers. Of, and now... Of course. Yes, I feel much better, but the struggle was real to get here, and I just wanted to just wanted to tell you guys. Well, thank you for sharing, <laughs> and you're so strong and so brave, and I really am pretty proud of you for this. So thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do hard things. Apparently, you can. Even I thought Ben was gonna like laugh at me when we went to my car to like bring the pieces in, and he was mm -hmm. like, "No, this is really heavy. Like, I actually cannot believe you lifted it by yourself." I was like, "I know." Like, they're it's, foul for that. They belong in cages. Those IKEA workers. Yeah. Death to them all. For real. But what have you been up to? <laughs> um, really nothing new. Like, just same old, same old. Um, I am watching a new, sh well, it's not new, but a new season of this show I like called Singles Inferno. It's a Korean dating show on Netflix, and it's a really good season, so I've been watching a lot of that. Um, like, I literally have nothing to say. <laughs> like, that's kind of it. That's okay. I ranted for the both of us. Exactly. Thank <laughs> you. Well, what are you drinking? I have two things. Ooh. 
this is my leftovers episode. So I have um, leftover like inch left of a Diet Dr. Pepper. Okay. <laughs> and then I have a leftover half of an Alani. Perfect. So I'm just emptying out the fridge, you know, doing a little winter cleaning and just finishing off some of my half drink beverages. You're so funny because I would never have a leftover beverage. Like, I just would never not drink the full beverage. Hmm. You're such a little, like, sip and save for later type of gal. I yeah. just can't. I can't fathom it. Yeah. I feel like you really know me once you realize I don't finish drinks. Like, mm-hmm. if you know that I don't do that, then it's like, oh, you finally got to know the real me. Mm-hmm. It's like in the Emma so starter pack. Core. Yeah, yeah, like a half drink in soda would be one of the <laughs> items. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and it really would. <sighs> what are you drinking? I'm drinking, I made for the first time ever, a Dirty Shirley. Mm. I know. I was looking at my fridge. I, I was like, it. oh, I was like, what can I scrap together? Because I didn't have any like bottled or canned drinks. Mm-hmm. And I remembered I bought the syrup. What's it called? Grenadine. 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 I bought that not too long ago and I randomly had a Sprite and I was like, and some vodka. Perfect. Delicious. (laughs) Chef's kiss. I was thinking about Dirty Shirley's the other day and how I wanted to get the ingredients because like I was craving it so bad. Mm -hmm. Have you seen there's also a new like brand or company, I guess, that's doing like canned Dirty Shirley's? No. I've seen them on TikTok. I looked and they're not sold in any stores near me, but you can buy them online. But hmm. they have like a classic and a vanilla Dirty Shirley. Ooh, yummy. So I might have to I might have to order some. Yeah, that sounds yum yum. It's like a like mm-hmm. a white claw type of like a can. Yeah. Just like Cute. a canned yeah. Fun. I know, right? I'm like, oh, that was my business idea actually. So <laughs> thanks for stealing Stolen. <laughs> right out from under you yeah that'll happen i know sometimes mm-hmm. i think i like invented something i'm like i'm brilliant i'm albert einstein yeah. and then i look it up it's like there's 10 brands already doing it I'm like, oh <laughs> cool perfect cool cool, cool, cool. <laughs> awesome um well shall we hop in i suppose we should come okay, okay. all right So we've broken it down into three categories, like I kind of touched on earlier, mindset changes, new habits, and then physically glow up. So we'll start off with the mindset because that's probably my favorite category. Mm -hmm. Um, So the first thing that we put is just kind of a quote, my life is happening in perfect timing. I think this is just something good to embody in the new year. I know everybody kind of inevitably compares their life to others Mm -hmm. and especially like people their age I feel like in your early or mid-20s it's like oh my god so-and-so just bought a house oh my god so-and-so is getting married so-and-so is pregnant like everybody's at these different milestones and it's easy to feel like you're not in the right spot or where you're supposed to be yet but that's just not true because your life is in perfect timing it's gonna happen exactly how it's supposed to exactly that's that like and (laughs) that. It's really quite simple. No. And I think there's just like, I think there's peace in knowing that like, I don't know, everything's happening as it's supposed to. Peace and love. Yes. Peace, love and blessings. It is very (laughs) peace, peaceful to think of it that Mm -hmm. way rather than like stressing and not feeling good enough or like trying to change the course of your life. There's no rush. There's no rush. Right. And what's going to happen is going to happen anyways. So Mm -hmm. I also think it's helpful like to look at things kind of that have happened in the past like even if things didn't feel right in the moment now that they you're like a year or so in the future you look back and you're like oh okay obviously like that's why that happened or that's why that went that way like it always makes sense in the long run Mm -hmm. (laughs) an example the reason I haven't popped off on TikTok yet is because I don't live alone but I'm about to live alone in a few months and I'll have like the freedom to just like create any sort of content and be loud and obnoxious and then i'll finally pop off on tiktok like right uh, like that's that's the reason obviously obviously (laughs) Uh, i guess that's another you didn't even say that in the life update you're planning life update planning on moving (laughs) planning on moving when my lease is up i'm gonna get an apartment by myself i just truly feel so incredibly called to live alone like 
this is probably the only time in my life I'll probably ever live alone, assuming I like get married and have kids someday. So like I might as well take the take the opportunity. And I'm just so excited to kind of create my own home. I love to be alone. I am very particular about like how I keep my space or like how I like my kitchen and bathroom. So I'm just excited for everything to be completely me and completely mine. And yeah, it is such an era. I lived alone for like a year. Best best times ever. Like it's yeah. <laughs> no offense for then. us. It's <laughs> she's like I missed it the good old days the good old days no but it is just so it like teaches you a new level of responsibility because you have nobody mm. else to blame things on like yeah you know what I mean I feel like roommates it's always like they didn't do their dishes or like mm-hmm. the bathroom was dirty or whatever but when it's you it's like this is all you gotta clean mess. yeah you have to clean the bathroom yeah. because nobody else is gonna do it you know exactly and it's just so fun like you said especially for making content and stuff I feel like it'll You'll be able to let your freak flag fly and yes. just like do whatever you want, make whatever videos. If you do like ASMR stuff, there won't be anybody chatting in the background. Like my mukbangs. Your mukbangs. Yeah. It, it'll just be perfect. If y'all don't know, well, as if you would even know. But they re- they I, read your mind. <laughs> yeah, they read our texts. I send Madison mukbangs <laughs> like maybe a, once once a week at this point. I should yeah. really rack it up for you but, I would love more uh, it's really fun I don't know why I just really enjoy filming them and then I just send them to her because she likes to watch them I know um they're really yeah, so good recommend. I know I feel like I I don't know some I don't really watch that many mukbangers but there's like a couple where I'm like they just make it so fun like whether it be yeah. what they talk about or like the style of their videos or if they're just like a cutie girl like mm-hmm. ugh, they're just fun sometimes and you have yeah the mukbang it factor like I feel like you're just so good at it thank you yeah normalize recording mukbangs for yourself for right? your own entertainment <laughs> so fun <laughs> like if I can't find a show to watch while I eat I'm just gonna talk to myself on my phone <laughs> like obviously you said I don't need a show I will be the show so. I am the show babe yeah not okay. sure how we got on that I don't know but, um, you, you never really know Mo- never moving know. on to the next we'll point. move on <laughs> our next point is about like your your internal dialogue I think we all need to compliment ourselves more be more positive on how we speak to ourselves in our mind and I guess like verbally um because one thing is is confidence is hot like if someone just like thinks they are that girl they are that girl now like I believe it like your 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 energy that you're giving off is going to be like infectious to other people so the best way to be a hottie is to believe that you're a hottie. It's really so simple. I know. It's like, ugh, it sounds so simple. And of course, so many people struggle with it. But it's like, mm-hmm. if you think about the people in your life or like people that you've met, and you're like, what is it about them? Like, they just mm-hmm. have it like that, like 9.999 times out of 10. It's just that they're confident and they carry themselves with mm-hmm. such confidence that it just like, you can just spot it and be like, oh my God, they are so cool. Or like, they are so this, they are so that. And it's really none of those things. At the end of the day, it's just they show a side of themselves that is confident. And like you said, like magnetic. Mm -hmm. And it just is like such a standout thing for somebody to carry themselves with. For sure. And this is something I struggle with, which is why I put it because it's like, I feel like a lot of these I put because like they're things I want to (laughs) do. Um, this is but, our yeah. glow up guide at the end of the day. Literally, like I'm following every <laughs> step. Um, let's all just take a moment though. Give yourself a physical and a non-physical compliment. It can be in your head, but I think we all just need to like. It's hard because you really do have to like train your inner voice to like, like call yourself out when you find that you're thinking something negative about yourself and like try to redirect and be like, okay, what do I actually like about myself? And let's focus our energy and our thoughts on that. So <laughs> wait, you know how and maybe you don't. In Brittany Broski's um podcast episodes, she's like, eyes closed, hands off the wheel, like listen fully. Like that's me right now. I'm like, guys, close your eyes. If you're driving, I don't care. Close your eyes. Hands and off the wheel. Take your hand- hands off the wheel. Say something nice about yourself. No, Thank actually, you. like do it right now right now right now 
Um, no, that's good. And even like kind of, I, I feel like everybody has a different starting point with this, obviously, mm -hmm. because some people struggle with it more than others or have like a history of low self-esteem and whatnot. So I feel like the journey will be different for everyone, but I also think it could be really helpful to like make some sort of habit surrounding it, whether it be like first thing in the morning you think of something or like you write things in your notes every day or just like creating some sort of structure around it to really c keep yourself on track because I think for a lot of people the default is to have negative self-talk or right. you like think poorly of themselves unless they like specifically make effort to do otherwise so I think it'd be good to have like some sort of structure for accountability with it oh for sure yeah our next one I personally am a big fan of tricking yourself for various love things. it yes i love tricking myself because it's truly so easy like you can just trick yourself to do yeah. anything i'm gullible i'm so gullible it works so well for me actually <laughs> but um specifically tricking yourself into literally just becoming the best version of yourself day by day just right. by almost cosplaying <laughs> cosplaying the best version of yourself like what would she do literally step by step of your day if you're you've been in bed for an hour scrolling on tiktok mm, babe the best version of you wouldn't do that so you have to get up actually like just every step of the day being like what would she do what would what would jesus do but jesus is the best version of yourself mm -hmm. what would you do and kind of like sh creating a routine out of that you can start small like maybe it's just a morning routine maybe it's just how you end your night little extra mm -hmm. special stuff that like the elevated version of you would do just do that now as yourself because there's really no difference, but there's like a cognitive dissonance with it that you don't like believe that right. you're that version of yourself yet. So you kind of just have to do a little bit of trickery and, and trick yourself into it. The classic saying, nothing changes if nothing changes. Right. And do what must be done. If you need to trick yourself into like separating your future goal self versus like who you are now, then babe, it must be done. Like we do what we need to do. But I, I have seen people talk about this kind of concept before. Like what does she do during the day? What does she eat? What does she drink? Like who are her friends? Like who is she at work? Like that kind of stuff. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really cool way to think about it. And it's a more unique way of kind of evaluating your current habits and your current life and seeing like what you actually want to change and what would need to change to like reach your goals or be um, someone you would be like more proud of. Mm -hmm. Also, it, it also like connects back to the last point because you could think about like, would the best version of yourself say that about yourself? Absolutely not. No, no. She would be embarrassed if she knew that you said that. So yes. that could be kind of like another way to tie in a trick. Um, and I also have seen on TikTok again, a lot of people talking about like, like if they want to be content creators or they want to like make money from TikTok or whatever and they're like yeah I see a lot of people be like why isn't it working like why why am I not doing this and it's like mm, babes because you're not doing it like you're not even exactly. posting you're not even like trying and so I feel like a lot of people have this idea of where they want to be but like oh, oh. tea, tea. <laughs> y'all she's she's chewing me out right now continue <laughs> continue um but their like day-to-day -day life and their actions don't line up with what right. they're saying they want so it's just like a weird kind of game that we play with ourselves that is not gonna happen any longer in 2024 mm -hmm. we're gonna leave that in 2023 rebuke so. rebuke that basically get on your effing zoom get on your zoom 8 a.m every day like Walk we need in, to see babe. you all on zoom <laughs> Group meeting, band meeting on group Zoom. Meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Our last mindset change is to only make promises to yourself that you know you can keep. And I feel like this is especially important when it comes to goal setting, especially for the new year. Let's push ourselves while also being realistic because nothing hurts your confidence more than like not reaching a goal that like you set for yourself. You know, it's kind of it, it, it bruises the self-esteem when you don't like hold up your end of the bargain. So for example, I mean, I did a really cute like bingo card for my 2023 goals. I was looking back at them 
What? I forgot. No, I just forgot we did that, and I want to go look oh. at mine after this. I'm like frightened. Yeah, we should pull them up if we need more oh. content. Oh. Um, and I was looking at some of them, and I was like, okay, check, check. And then there's some. I was like, and that's just rude of me to even propose. Like, why would I say that? Like, why? Literally, why would I say that? But if you set like realistic things, things you know that you have the means to achieve, or like have the time, have the resources, um. It's really exciting to be able to like keep up your end of the bargain and like your promise with yourself. Yeah, it's never fun to set yourself up for failure. Okay, next category, moving on to habits. These are kind of personal to us, I feel like, because habits mm-hmm. are going to be different for everyone. But something that we do and we advocate for is making your bed every morning. I feel like if you don't do this already, 2024 is a great time to start. It's a yep. little simple win to start your day with. Feels amazing, looks amazing, easy peasy. And I don't care if it's like 5 p.m. and you're like, dang, I didn't make my bed. (laughs) Babe, there's still time. Make it. Like it's just following through with it every day, no matter what time it is, eventually you'll get to the point where it becomes just like routine. Um, But I love to do it like, well, (laughs) I've kind of sucked at this lately. Like I do make my bed eventually. But I think the best is when you get in the routine of like, if you get out of bed, now you have to make it. Mm-hmm. Like once I get out of bed, it's getting made. And it just helps me have a more productive day, especially since I work from home. Like there'll be some mornings where I spend like the first hour or two like working from bed and it's like, okay, that's like not cute. And your bed should be like a sacred place that you save for like sleeping and relaxation. So if I make it, then I'm like, well, I'm not getting into bed. Like I got to go work somewhere else. So yes, it's beautiful. And I also feel like your whole house isn't going to be clean all the time like sometimes right your bathroom is going to be a little dirty or like your clothes aren't going to be put away perfectly but as long as your bed is made like that's like a just a good baseline to have like at least my bed is made it's just like a a constant thing that you can lean on every day for sure and it truly is not as hard as we make it out to be in our heads it takes a minute literally a minute so that's an, that's something that I caught myself on the other day because I was trying to implement early the tricking myself into being the best version of myself. And there was something, mm-hmm. some task, I think it was like unloading the dishwasher or something. And I was like, oh, I'll do that later. And then I was like, mm, no, I'm just going to do it right now because I have yeah. two minutes. It's literally not that hard. It's actually going to take me like two minutes. So Ugh, it's just like little things like that. They really do all yeah. add up. They sound can silly. Be so silly sometimes. Yes, yeah. it sounds silly to be like, "Oh, make your bed; it'll make your day better." But it will. At the it end really of the day. will. Um, our next one, bed related. Uh, stick to your sleep schedule. This is something I have had to like be more strict about, just because I don't know why. I just like haven't been falling asleep very well. Well, <laughs> um, I actually am a very sleepy person. <laughs> I'm not like I'm actually such a sleepy person, but sometimes I just get distracted, you know, on my phone. But like truly nothing is worse than not getting enough sleep or just having like ir- an irregular sleep schedule. And it's I mean, sleep is vital for your overall health, mental, physical. Um, but I think it just improves our life experience. I think being well rested and sometimes like work and everything doesn't always permit us to have like a specific sleep schedule every night but like do the best you can make sure you're getting at least eight hours like babe undersleeping is not cute it's not i swear like the people who say they don't need that much sleep i'm like and i don't know the science behind this i don't know if everybody needs like actual different amounts of sleep but i'm like an eight hour girl and then I meet other people that are like no I do great off of like five hours of sleep or something I'm like are you really or do you just not know that you could be doing so much better do you know what I mean because there's no way if I was getting five hours of sleep every night I would be first of all a menace I'd be grumpy I'd be rude like I just can't handle it I I feel sick when I don't sleep yes I was gonna say you just feel groggy like brain fog can't like some people like my friend Dom literally if she wakes up well I don't I think she's been waking up earlier lately but (laughs) I went to visit her one time and I woke her up at like 6 a.m because we had planned to do something and she was like no I'm gonna throw up like you don't like I am (laughs) like I'm going to throw (laughs) up you don't understand and (laughs) she's so serious about it like people really be getting sick and stuff 
if they don't get enough sleep and that's real because it does affect you physically like no that is so real it's not good for you you need you need the eight hours like trust me like they don't call it beauty sleep for nothing like we just glow different when oh we're my well gosh. rested yes nothing worse than waking up after like because me if i go to bed late i still wake up at the same time so that's why I go to bed Same. so early all the time because it's like if I go to bed at 1 a.m. I'll still be waking up at like 6 to 7. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just not okay because then I wake up. Oh, you feel like, oh, I just don't feel good. Don't look good. Mm-hmm. None of it's good. You just, I feel like you don't know that you could be thriving so much harder if you just got more yes. sleep. People really don't understand it. Okay. Next habit we wrote was to find a hobby that doesn't involve screen time. This would be great for me. I'm really... (laughs) Same. Guys, I'm in the market for a new hobby. If anybody has any suggestions, (laughs) let me know because I really just do not be having a hobby like other than being on TikTok and spending money. I don't know. Like I got nothing. (laughs) And we really really cannot be doing that so much. Mm -mm. I know. And it's just like... I feel like it's just so easy to sit and scroll and just like be on your phone all day if you're at home, but Mm -hmm. we need to be having other hobbies. And I don't know what that will be for me in 2024. Like I said, really got nothing, no ideas, but do you have any, any plans that you cannot share or that you can share? Well, I mean, we're kind of into reading. That's oh, okay. Count. Yeah. And and I've also been really into baking lately. And I'm going to be even more into it when I have my own place and like have all of my own like baking stuff. But yeah, there's just like something so cute about a girly that has like a cool hobby. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Yes. Ugh, I love that. I know. I want to be it. I know. I met up with this girl for coffee a while ago and we were talking about how like that's all you can really do like meet up for coffee like there's no like yeah. hobby that we have that we could be like oh do you want to go do this with me you know like mm-hmm. it just feels so boring to not have like any whether it be like a physical activity or like a creative activity I just wish I had something and I I am like a girl that gets into a lot of things and then mm-hmm. <laughs> gives up on them very quickly like what did I say last night? I said I was going to do something. Literally, we were laying in bed. I was like, oh my God, I have a great idea. Like, I'm going to do this. And Ben was like, you would just buy all the stuff for that. And then it would stop there. Like, you wouldn't like, I just invest in things and then try them one time and then don't even don't even go on with them. So I need to like find something that will actually stick and become I want Mm -hmm. something to be like a a part of my identity. Like, yeah, (sighs) I'm just so jealous. I know I've said this before of Ben skateboarding like like it's so easy yeah it's so easy it's built in with friends it's yep. built in with outdoor time like exercise yes. yeah interacting with your environment it's like I don't know what I could do that could be like that I know I that I that's what brought this on for me I was like wait I don't have a thing mm-hmm. I need a thing and anything that I can think of is like a once a week kind of thing like Mm. going to Pilates well that could be more than once a week but you know what I mean like structured like you book times I just want something that I can do I know you know (gasps) you know what I could be fun what what if I made candles should I get into candle making I had a phase where I researched everything I can give you my notebook I have a whole notebook of information and I never made a candle like that's what I'm saying I get so (laughs) into stuff and then I don't even do it Mm -hmm. I literally have a whole information notebook, all the different types of wax, all the wick sizes. But you should because you like actually know about candles and stuff. Yeah, I love candles. I was thinking um, I've been seeing girlies do like air dry clay. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Because I want to do pottery, like pottery classes. But that's something that like you have to pay for and you only go like once a week or whatever. I feel like I could really whip up some cute little like ceramics. I believe it. (laughs) even i saw a girl do cute little like fridge magnets of like different like you could make like of course a little bow i think is what she was making but i've also seen cute like etsy girlies doing like little slices of cake or like little little charcuterie board type foods that are like little magnets i love that there's just so many little creative things that you could do with it so i might give that a give that a spin give that a go Mm -hmm. that's cute and then man birthdays and and christmas would be so easy yes everybody's getting pottery oh yeah also candles 
homemade yep. candle in like a thrifted glass, people would eat it up. Mm. And you know what? That's going to be my new thing in the new year. I'm going to do it. I support it. It's perfect for me. Perfect. God, we Let's could sort that it. out. <laughs> and you'll be a ceramic queen. Perfect. <laughs> Our last um, new habit recommendation is to find movement that works for you. So we've kind of touched on this before, but like the best workout is the one you can stick to. So it's really important to like find something physical that you genuinely enjoy that like you get pleasure out of because like I've had moments where I'm like, no, like I'm going to weight lift like that's going to be my thing. Babe, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And I hated it. And guess what? I didn't stick to it. So I didn't even get any like good, I don't know, like end result because I just didn't stick to it. Mm -hmm. But when you find the thing that you're like, no, I love to do this. And I look forward to like going to this class or doing this workout or like doing this walk or this hike. Um, there's just like a lot of a lot of joy in it. You get the endorphies and good for your physical health and your mental health. It's really important for your mental health, I find. Hate to admit it. I know. Hate to admit it. It's such a bummer. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's the biggest bummer. <laughs> <laughs> really sucks, but it is the truth, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um, and I feel like there's just such strong trends with workouts. Like we're yeah. in the era of Pilates, of course. Everybody's at Pilates. Everybody on TikTok. Everybody, mm -hmm. you probably know people in real life. Like it's just the Pilates world that we're living in. But I also think it's kind of fun to just like not do that and find your own thing like yeah. you could do something so silly I always think it's funny when people like have a random like people are really into hula hooping or something and I'm like yeah that's so sick and like that probably is so much fun and it's way better for you if you're having a good time and you can actually stick mm -hmm. to it so I'm looking again still searching for my thing I do love Pilates unfortunately um but I want like a fun <laughs> a fun silly little <laughs> hobby like when I was little not little but like early teenage years I think we did it in like PE or something and then I made my mom buy me one jump roping I would jump rope for yep. like 30 minutes a day and it was so fun I'd just so be like fun. see you later mom I'm going in the backyard I'm jump roping <laughs> like it's just fun and silly and free which is which is good yeah like a, I feel like a structured going to the gym and running or like going to a yoga class it's not going to work for everyone mm -mm. and it doesn't have to because there's lots of fun fun different things to try okay moving on to our last category the physical category this one is very important I want you all to open up your ears and I want you to hear mm -hmm. me loud and clear this is the year of washing our hair more I don't know when it became normal to only wash your hair like once a week but it's actually not okay like of course it works for certain hair types and certain mm -hmm. people but the concept of training your hair I feel like is just absolute bs like yeah it's not gonna look good after seven no. days especially if you're a white person like mm -hmm. uh, what are you think our little like thin fine hair is not gonna get greasy or like yeah. tangled and ugly it is so me personally I'm gonna be washing my hair every other day mm -hmm. because every day is just a little much for me but every other day I feel like is the perfect amount of my hair still looking good every day because yeah. the thing about me is if my hair doesn't look good I start to feel homicidal and I am not yes. feeling good I it's when I start to spiral and I feel like mm -hmm. anytime I tell you that I want to throw away all my clothes I want to move states I want to like do a rebrand it just be like actually let's start with just washing our hair and then by the end of yeah. it I'll feel better no the other day I was like having an episode uh with Madison and I was like wait I know I know what it is my hair is literally greasy like that's it yeah I just need to go wash it and then and you then felt better I felt better yeah so yeah let's wash our hair if we want to I mean like if you're cool with it don't like do your thing but I think most of us can agree we feel a lot better when we have fresh hair and like your hair is probably not gonna fall out if you wash it every other day mm -hmm. no in so. fact it might be better it might for be better in some cases Frankly, my hair is kind of thriving right now I know and I, I it's been like a month since I decided to to give up on like the hair training yeah after years I'm like yeah this is just not working for me yeah I feel like it's just another one of those things where like it don't do it just because you see it on TikTok like mm -hmm. it's actually obviously not going to work for everyone yeah mm -hmm. and it's just silly at the like why are we forcing ourselves to have greasy hair Th yeah. really just sit down and think about it and then you'll be like oh yeah I don't need to do that 
I've been doing a slick back bun like multiple days in a row. And I'm like, I just, I don't, I don't photograph well like this. Like this can't happen. <laughs> this isn't sustainable for me. <laughs> it's not sustainable. <laughs> I don't want to look like an egg for half of my life. Literally, like I can't do this anymore. Yeah. I don't have the jawline for that. Mm-mm. It was a hard hitting realization to just find the root <laughs> of the problem. And the root of the problem is that my hair is greasy half the time. Wash it. Yep. Fix. Yep. Done. Simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> Our next physical glow um, recommendation, I guess, or tip is to put effort into finding your style and not just on what's trending. It is so cute when girlies like have their thing like th- like and mind you, we're all like, you know, doing what's trendy and stuff. And so am I. But like. You just feel your best when you're like, I love what I'm wearing. I love like the clothes I have. I love the style I have. I feel comfortable in it. I think that's the biggest thing. Like you can tell when clothes are wearing someone or when they're wearing the clothes. And I don't know. I think it's important to just kind of be okay with not liking everything that's trendy or not participating in all of the trends and just like finding what makes you feel best and what feels truest to you and your style. Yes, definitely. I also have been seeing, I don't know if this is on your For You page too, but like dressing for different things, like whether it be your color palette or your body shape, like your body type or whatever, or even like I saw one analyzing Sabrina Carpenter and it was explaining why Mm -hmm. she looks so good all the time because it like has to do with her astrological chart. Did you see that one? Oh, like dressing to your Venus. Yes. Your Venus. Yes. Yeah, girl. I've... We're all, we got the same for you, Paige. <laughs> and I, I'm waiting for the Libra what, Libra episode to come out. Oh, my god! I gosh. need her to tell me. I know. I feel like I just don't know anything, even down to, like, my color palette. Like, I don't really know my yeah. colors or my exact body type. Like, I think it's so interesting when people have it down to a science. Like, they're like, if my pants hit me here, I look 10 times better. If I wear this mm-hmm. cut of shirt, I look 10 times better. I'd like to dive into that a little bit more just to like find what actually enhances me instead of just like a copy and paste of what's on everyone and it's like tiny changes too to like the silhouette of like a sweater like I don't know like a boxy fit versus like a long like slender fit like it's just like there's a lot that can go into it and a lot of things that can I don't know change how you how you feel in certain clothing but I've been trying to be more true to that and um it makes me more mindful about like what I'm consuming clothing wise as well, which is always good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our next one is no skipping skincare routines. I feel like once you find one that really works for you, just stick to it. Don't stray away. Mm-hmm. Don't don't skip it. Just do it every single day and we'd all be a lot happier. Even I feel like I find I add certain things into my routine, whether it be like a gua sha or like uh, whatever like some sort of device microcurrent device or whatever like little mm-hmm. things like that and then I'll stick with it for like two months or something and be like this was the missing piece like I feel amazing and then mm-hmm. I stop using it and I'm like if I just use that all year long my skin would probably be better it's right. just like uh, there's no re- it ta- again it takes two minutes don't be lazy just do it I am starting to like get back. I like go through phases with my skincare routine, but I'm kind of back at my like, let's keep it simple because when I start adding too much, one, my skin doesn't really like it. And two, it just like makes the task just more just like, like if you're really tired, it's like, I do not want to do a 10 step skincare routine. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. But if it's just like, okay, let's just cleanse one sort of thing, whether it's toner or serum, and then let's moisturize. Like, let's keep it simple, something easy that we can do every day. And yeah, also like don't feel the need to just like try all of like the new skincare things. Like you don't need it all. Mm-hmm. Just just stick to what what you know and what's what's been good for your skin. Yeah, I feel like especially because I, I feel like we both have kind of sensitive skin. If I mm-hmm. just keep it simple, that's what works best. I don't know why I try to go crazy. Like lately I've been on the same train of just like morning, cleanse, moisturize, SPF night Mm -hmm. cleanse i actually have added a a retinol retinoid i don't know something like that so i just do that i don't want to mix it with any other like Mm -hmm. chemical yeah active ingredients because that's when you start getting getting funky because you don't know what mixes well together you don't know what's going to cause a reaction 
So you just don't be doing too much. Just just keep it simple, keep it realistic, and find what works for you. I've honestly always had the urge to go to esthetician school just so I can like perfect my skincare routine. Oh my gosh. Just to like get the education. Yes. And no, I feel like I don't know about all the active ingredients and stuff. So I'm kind of like scared of them and like mixing them and stuff. Yeah. So I'd love to like actually know, be able to like curate a skin, a perfect skincare mm-hmm. routine and know like what is actually going to pair well together right. for like specific skin types. Um, Our next thing is kind of going along with this, but SPF. Hey, we got you. Got to get on your Zoom and wear your SPF <laughs> every day. I don't care every if it's day. cloudy. Um, and it's also nice if you find one that's like just like makes your skin look really good, like glowy, or maybe it's tinted or something, because that kind of motivates you to put it on anyways. Because you're like, it's just gonna make me look even better. But um, SPF on the face, neck, and the chest, ladies. I'm good about doing my face and neck. I need to be better about my chest. Same. But normally, I'm wearing like turtlenecks up to my neck. So. <laughs> not that ne- needed but like that's where our our skin's like extra sensitive and extra thin so um it's more susceptible to damage or like early signs of aging um so let's let's put some sunscreen on and and protect ourselves um it's very important and have you seen the picture of like the woman who like wore um sunscreen on her face every day but not her neck no i'm so it's, scared like, an old lady no oh it's crazy oh no like it'll it'll whip you into shape. That's mm. for sure. Yeah, I need to look that up. I need to find like a a tinted one, like you said, because even I feel like I see people use ones that like actually have a little bit of coverage, and like that's all you need to wear. Like I would love to just have something that I could just throw on, and it's like that's your look for the day. Like just healthy skin. I've got just the thing for you. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't <laughs> my, wait. My new makeup routine. So yeah, makeup just doesn't really look good on me. I don't know if it's like. I'm wearing too much powder or just like even foundations and concealers, especially around my mouth and my chin area. It just separates and looks disgusting. So I decided to just like accept that fate. And I went to Sephora and was looking for like either skin tint or tinted sunscreen or something. I was testing a bunch on like the back of my hand and I settled on the Tower 28 tinted sunscreen because it actually had pretty good coverage, really nice finish. And it's been sitting really well on my skin. I've had it on all day haven't touched wow. up and it your skin looks, looks pretty phenomenal good. thank you i no, would have like it's actually like foundation i know right i've seen so, people yeah, use I've that really enjoyed that and i highly recommend it okay well i will be going to sephora tomorrow thank you mm-hmm. that You're is welcome. stunning yeah i've seen people use that and i didn't know if it was as good as they were making it seem but right your skin literally looks glowing flawless yeah smooth even it's giving foundation it's crazy. It is giving foundation. Yeah. Um, okay. Our final tip for, I guess, physical health. Yeah. Um, it's just take your supplements. I feel like I'm so bad at taking supplements. I have a whole cabinet of any supplement you could possibly need. Yeah. Like digestion, got it. Skin, got it. All the vitamins, got it. Like I have a supplement for everything. And why do I not take them every day? Like, Mm -hmm. I'm confused. I feel like if you find supplements that actually benefit you or like if you use them regularly, you do notice a difference. They actually Mm -hmm. make a world of difference. And everybody probably needs a supplement or a vitamin of some sort. Like we're not getting everything we need from our diet. And I feel like just taking it like once a week or like, you know, when you remember it's you're not getting all the benefits from it and it's actually probably not doing anything it's just a waste it's a waste and you're buying these expensive supplements and not even getting any benefits from them so we just need to be taking the supplements that we need every single day make a make a habit out of it do whatever you need to do time it out right take them Mm -hmm. every day that is so real because literally yesterday i was like i need to get my ish together and I was looking for I got this um just like woman's probiotic um and I was like I really need to start taking that and I was like digging around for it. I was like damn I really lost it it was literally like inside my hamper question mark I went to do my laundry this morning and it was in there I was like <laughs> okay perfect <laughs> um so yeah um but I think the key is like I need to figure out what time of day I will realistically take it and like where I need to keep the supplements or how I need to like keep them because 
I think that's key is like the convenience and like what can you realistically like stick to it, like like implementing it into your routine. So I don't know. I think I'll switch up and start keeping them in my bathroom and maybe like that'll help me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But whatever I'm trying right now is just like not working. So I need to like try something else. Yeah. Last year I got a little I got cute little like ceramic teeny tiny bowls to put Cute. mine and Ben's supplements in every, every day and it worked for a while it like actually helped me because I'd set them out the night before and then I just have them ready to go in the morning and I'd keep them in my kitchen so I could have them with food like at breakfast or whatever and that worked I don't know why it stopped working but I'm I'm gonna try that again because it's nice to have them like in your line of sight and ready to go mm-hmm. so that it's just like you don't even have to think about it it's not like should I take them or yeah. should I not they're just already out for you to take them they're there yeah yeah Yeah, because it's also hard it's like some are best well I'm sure most are best to like be taken with food and everything but like breakfast is just like not something I do every day so then it's just like so I really need to figure out maybe I I don't know what I'm doing yeah but it is important and I that is something I really want to like get into the habit of you could also do like part of your night routine after dinner that's true you could still no one's saying it has to be in the morning yeah I feel like it is good because some vitamins or whatever are fat fat soluble so you want to have them with food rather than on an empty stomach Mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter what meal you have them with that's so real perhaps i'll just incorporate it in my nightly lexapro yes perfect lexapro birth control and like Mm -hmm. some iron i don't know (laughs) (laughs) that's my your cocktail i'll call it my like yeah my potion time my my cocktail time yeah my nightcap make it fun (laughs) (laughs) cute wow that was it we did it we did it Wishing you all a beautiful, wonderful, happy, healthy yes. 2024. I just the year of thriving. Yes. And I'm excited for another year with the band. Thank you guys for sticking with us through this 2023. And yeah, we hope you had a holly jolly Christmas and a happy new year. And we'll see you next year. <laughs> no, um, yeah, this this kind of content I think is always really fun for us. We're just like very motivated people. Um, We love habits. We love just like trying to be better versions of ourselves for our own benefit, Mm -hmm. you know? So hopefully we can can spread that energy to you as well. And our next episode, I'm pretty sure, is like 2024 goals. So this is like perfect. We're like preparing ourselves. We're like getting into the mindset. And then, babe, we're getting to work. Mm -hmm. We're We're getting on our Zoom. We're getting on our Zoom. And you're getting on your Zoom too. So be ready can't wait so be ready with the hair flip she said <laughs> be, be ready. ready get your notebooks out like we're yeah get it's your printer stuff it's time it's for time. class <laughs> and yeah that's it for this episode if you want to keep up to date with us our socials are linked in the show notes or description um follow along on the podcast on whatever you're streaming so you don't miss out on episodes leave a rating review you know the usual um thanks for for listening and being in the band we love you it's been a great year with you and cheers to many more many more thank you guys we love you and we'll see you next time bye bye